They stole it. What did they steal? My chicken recipe. I've seen him. He's always had his eye on me. Well, not exactly. In fact, he never actually looks me straight in the face. But he's still looking. He's got a hell of a peripheral vision. Take this one day for instance. I was walking to my car one day and saw him talking to the boss. He didn't even notice me walking by. Anyway, I get to my car to turn around and he's there, handing me my keys. He couldn't possibly have noticed me dropping them if he wasn't watching me. How do you know it was him? I don't. Couldn't you just write the recipe again? You see, this chicken recipe was very complex and had secrets only paper can handle. Brain can't take those kind of secrets. Well, please, tell us the secrets, Adam. Tell us. Are you listening to me? I used to work on this recipe every day. One day, Rob walked up to my desk. What you doing? And then I knew that he was scheming. What's that? Oh, nothing. Just chicken. Linger around. I knew that this job had its risks, but I never did expect this. The next day, I go make a cup of chai tea. I really had to pee all of a sudden, so I leave the recipe under the cup. I knew I shouldn't have left it there, but it would only be a second. It wasn't. Turns out, I was in the bathroom for three minutes. Two minutes and 59 more seconds than a second. I come back to my desk, the chai tea is drinking, and the paper, gone. After that day, Rob was acting really strange. Hey Rob, I was wondering if you wanted some Arby's and going there for lunch. Um, I was wondering if Wait, what? I knew it was him. After all the events prior to this day, I knew. So I've come up with a plan. Has anyone seen my plan? Where's my plan? It was around here somewhere. Some paper. Does anyone else have a plan? Glad you asked that. I'm going to take over for a little bit because of his lack of plan, so I could come to the best possible conclusion for everybody. You know what? I'm already sick of you. I've got a plan. Why don't we take that knife there, get all of us together here, and we just cut them up into tiny pieces? Hey, could you guys keep it down in here? Mm hmm. You look different, Adam. Did you get your haircut? Something like that. Oh, I see. It's a new t-shirt. You get done? Um, yeah. I don't want to kill him. Let me do it. Are we going to go through with my plan? Let's add that guy to the list. Let's... Now hold your tongue. Hold your tongue. Hold your tongue. Let's listen to what Jerry thinks. Well, I'm suggesting that we start off with a nice peaceful meditation meeting. That's all I'm asking. We should just ask the enemy if he has it. Alright, um, we could do that. Or, we could stick with Wallace's idea and his seemed more... simpler. Simple. Uh, Richard? I'm just so excited. We, as a group, have gotten so strong. I just feel left out. I just feel not wanted. Richard, not now. I was just sitting there last night thinking. Everyone thinks I'm Richard, but I'm not a top. I'm top. 
I can't deal with you right now, Rip. I mean, Tom. All right, let's do this. I'm stoked, I'm ready. We can do this, guys. Guys, come on. We can just, we can quit our jobs to go out there and just do it. We can, we can do this. I feel so good. Better, I feel like just jump in the air. What is he talking about? Bipolar, don't ask. God, it just feels so amazing. I mean, I just want some Taco Bell right now. I actually really want Taco Bell. Oh no. <laughs> Greg, do you have anything to say? I, uh, I... We can, we can infiltrate his desk and plant something in it to get him fired. I like it. Let's do it. Alright, first things first. We are here. Greg and Jerry take out the guards. Wallace chloroforms everyone nearby as Jerry distracts Rob into the kitchen. Greg calls the boss as Tom sneaks into his cubicle and plants this external hard drive filled with 500 gigs of illegal software onto his computer. Some clues. Some clues. Uh, all right. Got some. Got some hot pockets. Assorted sharpies. Um, got a. Got a license. Hey, that's mine. <laughs> got some nice dash. Yoga Spider Man. Chapstick and a wallet. Um, how did you? Never mind. What are these clues for? <laughs> Rich, I mean Tom. Tom. Rich. Yeah. Um. Definitely mean more clues. Adam, what? Rob's coming this way. How did you lose him? I don't know. Oh, Wallace, hide or something. plugged in. Rob, what is this, powder material? Is that what you called me down here for? Uh, I actually don't know where this came from. Well, I can tell where your secret's lie now. And your secret's safe with me. Rob, I've been thinking. Um, you've been really good lately, and you would make a great addition to the team. You are promoted, sir. Really? All right, one more thing. Can you give me the first season of Spartacus? I heard a lot about that show. Good on you, boy.
Here, let me get that for you. Wow, look at that thingy over there. Oh, never mind. Hm. You like Quentin Tarantino? Yeah, it's pretty cool. I love Tarantino, just the way he writes his scripts. Like Pulp Fiction. I didn't know a quarter pounder with cheese was called a Royale with cheese in France before that show. <laughs> True. Wow, I didn't know you were this cool. I was like totally gonna get you fired a minute ago. But now that I see how awesome you are, I regret ever thinking it. In fact, let's pretend I didn't even say that. Cool. Cool. Adam, this, this is hard for me. Mm hmm. You're fired. Why are you smiling? Wipe that smile off your face, boy, you're fired. Heard you got fired, man. Yeah, it happens. Probably because I'm better than you in every way. Wallace? Yeah. Grab the knife. We're doing it your way.